This was an install that we really had debated for a long time. We weren't certain if we really wanted to permanently drill holes through our forerunner just to put a snorkel on, knowing that likely we will never need it. However, after wheeling the Ozark National Forest for a couple years, we decided that it probably was better safe than sorry. It only takes one day and one moment to really mess up a lot of stuff. We had done it before on another vehicle, so it wasn't that new to us. It was just simply whether we wanted to do it on this new vehicle. Photography is what got us started overlanding. We were simply chasing great shots. And to get to those, typically you have to cross through water crossings to get to the amazing waterfalls. After deciding that we were going to in fact install one on our vehicle, then I had to decide which one we wanted to get. We bought the Dobbinson's 4x4 snorkel and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It fit the fender well. The template was a little bit off just as I had read in the forums before, because you should always research anything like this before you do it to your vehicle. However, once everything lined up, it fits the A-pillar perfectly, it looks nice, it's very solid. One thing I did do differently on this one than you will the typical snorkel install, is I did go ahead and purchase the snorkel upgrade filter head for it. It's basically just a pre-filter with a little fan in it that spins and helps sling bugs and debris and any rainwater that may get into it out before it goes into your actual snorkel so that it won't get into the airbox of the vehicle. I don't think that's absolutely necessary, but it is just a nice addition to have a good pre-filter on top of your snorkel. It's something you should really consider if you're thinking about doing it. This project looks like it was really quick, but it actually took about five to six hours. There were just a few things that didn't work out quite as quickly as we wanted to, like trying to reach the bag to bolt it on. It sounds simple, but you just can't reach in there sometimes. If you're like me and you've been debating for a long time whether you want to do this, Make sure you do a lot of research on it. Check different forms. Don't go by just what one person says. Some fit really well and some do not. And at the end of the day, you want it to fit well because it's going to be permanent. I wanted to record our install simply to show a basic overview of what has to be done to the vehicle to get it to fit onto it. This is not a tutorial as I don't show you every step and I'm not going to show you what sizes you need to do or how you need to cut it. This is simply how we did ours with what we had. If you've been on the fence on whether or not you want to add a snorkel to your vehicle, Hopefully it's just getting some insight to what you're going to have to cut out to do it. Hope you liked the video and thank you for watching.